hello to our Filipino poets and blossoms and all the poets out there and to all our viewers worldwide. Welcome to our show. Hello to everyone. Yeah, uh, the Mavs. We are, you are now at the Mavs, the Mother Eagle Blossom Show. And this and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to who, wherever you are in this beautiful world. We have tonight a poet who hails from Akamka LG. A of Cross River State, Nigeria, who is a true lover of poetry. Uh, may I read your bio? I will introduce you first. Uh, we have here tonight, Wilfred and Tui. Did I pronounce correctly your name, Wilfred? Oh, he's very... Uh, intelligent and young poet. Now I'm going to finish your bio. He is currently pursuing a, deg a degree in political science and pub public administration in one of the most competing universities in Nigeria. He has competed in so many contests internationally from different prestigious poetry groups online and has also won numerous awards with them, among which are Poet of the Week, Best Award of Excellence, Best International Guest Award to mention, but a few. His earnest desire to improve the world around him through the use of pen knows no bounds. He is so enthusiastic in his writing career and hopes to become a motivational speaker in the nearest future. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome uh, our very young, dynamic uh, poet, again, Wilfred Entwee. Hello, Wilfred, how are you? I'm very fine, M.E. Thank you for this privilege and opportunity to be your girls in the Mother Eagles Blood Lamp Show. I'm very much excited. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, may I ask, what is your inspiration in writing? As I can see, you are so excellent. Can you share that with us? Yeah, my inspiration is nothing but my own experience. Um, while growing up, I happened to be to be so adapted to my own self. I'm, I'm, I may say I'm an introvert. Uh, I don't like speaking too much. But the main thing there is that uh, it doesn't mean I cannot speak or I don't like talking. But the thing is that when I meet with the right people, I do talk. In fact, I can even become a talkative. But um, much more, I do speak on my own. And for that very reason, I discovered that I can also write my feelings and emotions concerning what I feel around me. Most especially the things that do happen most in school uh, environment. A lot of things like that can create inspiration and can also help us to have much to write about. And sometimes being in a social gathering, there are some things that can just happen and you feel like writing about. It's also about reading of books. I do read some books from prominent poets and I do like, admire the way they write and also feel like, yes, I can do more better and better like this set of people. So I began my writing journey, although at the end, I was discouraged since I, I tried to meet with one of my friends. I discussed with him. I asked if we can join together and be writing poem so that we can motivate each other. So he told me he wasn't ready. 
So I'm, I, bit, I was reluctant at first. So I, I said to myself, but I don't need to give up. I still proceeded. I went online looking for someone to be my mentor. But it was hard to find one. Uh, the first person I met, I asked to be a student. He said that um, he wouldn't have time. I, I didn't stop there. I decided to proceed. So eventually, I met one of my friends. He was by name Matthew Sunday. So he, he accepted me and told me that he would link me up to many poetry groups so that I can get motivated and also try to associate with other sports out there. So I, I welcome the idea. I really appreciate him. And you know, the first group he invited me into, it was Filipino Poet in Blossom. That was the first group. And that very day, it was on the 28th of, Jul of June this year. That was when he invited me to the group. And I met a contest going on, it was a quote. And I decided to participate and I thank God. Uh, the very first uh, competition I engaged into, I was nominated also and I won an award that motivates me the more. So I feel like I need to do this more better and better. <laughs> so that was how my, my journey began. And I began really? to write more and yeah. So I now started writing and also be showing to Matthew Edit. And he will review the work and make me understand if the work is good or not. So that was how my journey began. Wow. I did not know that FPB plays an important role in your journey. So uh, he invited you to FPB or you just joined by yourself and he gives you the link? He was the one that invited me. What, what is his name? Matthew Sunday. Uh, but you're more active than him because you're, <laughs> you are now famous in FPB. Yeah. Uh, you Have know, you joined our anthology book? <laughs> Did you join? Did you contribute your poem? Yes, yes. Very he good. also is a poet. Very good. So I'm so happy to know that. I did not know that. Oh, so can I ask, how old are you now? Um, by the grace of God, um, I'm 20 years. 20? I'm 20 years of age. Yeah. So young. Very young. So when did you start uh, uh, writing? I started writing 2018, but by then I did not have anyone to support me. I, I later stopped writing, but although the inspiration and the feeling keeps coming, the mm -hmm. urge, the passion keeps coming, I couldn't resist it. So I decided to write the more. And though I do write, but um, I was only interested in having a mentor who can lead me along because in life we need mentors, people who can help us in whatever part we choose to venture in life. So I needed someone like that to be by my side and support me, help me point out errors in my work. So that was why I needed him the more. And I thank God he was there to do that for me. And your move was really great that you did not listen negative uh, advice. You really follow your heart. You proceeded. Yeah. And that's the good thing. And I know you will become, uh, well, go to places. You are a promising star. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, M.A. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, your family did not support you? Did I hear it correctly? Uh, please repeat it again. No, I mean, uh, your family supported you in this journey, in your love of poetry. Family. Yeah, um, 
Actually, I'm not with my parents right now, but I'm staying with my uncle and auntie. Manti knows about it. She, she, she does support me very, very well. Whenever I told her about it, she always happy. She makes me understand that um, in life, we need to get uh, addicted and adjusted to whatever we find that it gives us joy. So I love writing and that gives me joy. She supports it. I so love her. The one that you said your aunt is a sister or of your mother or father? She's my auntie. Sister of your? She's my auntie. Your yeah, aunt. yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's very nice that uh, there is one who take care of you. Yeah. So very good. And uh, your parents are far from you now. Your At parents, your, yeah. Are they far from you? No, no, no. Uh, just near? No, they are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So that's nice that I I ask you about that. So are your peers are also poets that you share the same interests, like your classmates? Yeah, I have my classmates who love to write poems and they declare they show their interest, but they, they were so afraid in the sense that um, posting their works online, they believe that some people may plagiarize their work. And so that's their fear. But I do motivate them. I told them that there is no how such thing can happen, provided uh, the groups we have, they have also in everything in common by putting up a campaign to fight against people who claim other people work. So I do tell them about that. But though some of them are like, maybe they are reluctant to show up. But since it's a choice, we don't need to force anyone. That's true. So reluctancy won't help us. We need to be brave. We need yeah, yeah, yeah. to expose ourselves because nothing will happen. Yes. If we are feared to show ourselves, to share ourselves, our talents. So can you read one of your poems, winning poem? Okay. Okay. Um, I, have, I have one here. <laughs> this happened to be my second poem. And it was someone that asked me to write this poem for, because they wanted to use it to motivate some younger students in the school. So it was after I posted my first poem, he admired it. And so he asked me to write a personal poem for him, which I did. So the title is The Journey. I'll read. The title again? The Journey of it. The Rejoin. title is The Journey. Yes, yeah, The and Journey. The Journey, OK. Yeah. The journey of it this time might begin with determination, courage, and resolution. To reach your destination, you need three things. Prayers, studies, and better sleep for this makes your night meaningful. Desire the best, giving your best, compete with none, and always stand to your feet whenever you fall. For this, for to move slowly in the right path is better than to derail off the right path. Respect the elders and take into consideration their earnest words. Welcome advice and discipline yourself. For there's a parcel in life made for anyone. Yes, you, you work hard, you can unveil it at the end. <laughs> I like that, very inspirational. And do you have already, uh, are you planning to publish a book? How many poems have you written already? I have like um, 25 poems 25. that I've written so far, yeah. So maybe next year you can publish a book. You can contact you yes. about that. That has been one of my dreams so far, but I've been planning on that. I hope on God that some days it will come to pass. Let's pray for that. So yeah. why do you choose the course political science? 
what is your dream in life? Mm. Thank you so much for the question. Um, why I choose political science is to help, you know, our political circle is so sick right now at this. Um, the political, uh, the, the way politicians uh, display their own things and the way they do things is really annoying to some of us. And, um, I believe to be, um, I just choose to, to venture into politics because I believe that by so doing, if we can create some mindset that we fight against the high corruption in the political um, society, we can upgrade a comfortable society for ourselves. Because we know that in everything, we need people to change. Whatever happens, without people changing their mindset, nothing good can take place in a particular place. We just need people to change whatever thing we believe that needs to be changed. So that's why I hope to be a senator in the nearest future. Because I know by being a senator, the chance of making laws and other things will be in our hands. And by so, if I can have some set of people to work along, motivate ourselves, and carry out campaigns that will fight against the high corruption that is going on in our country, we can help sort out some issues that we feel that it needs to be solved in our country for in order for it to be a better place for all. So that's why I just choose to venture into politics, because I know as a political scientist, we can help analyze the problems that are really more, you know, very entailed in our society today. So we can solve that by joint efforts with a, a right mindset people, not people who are really interested in selfish ambition. So that's why I choose to venture into that. Thank you. What a brilliant mind. I know you will be a great, excellent public servant with your mindset. Even you are still so young, but you are so deep and uh, selfless. Thank I know you that so much. you want to serve people. So thank you for that. And uh, look, the world should know who you are. That's why I interview you. And I am so happy to know such kind of person like you. Anyway, thank how many so poetry much. groups you are with now? Um, I'm into about 28 poetry groups right now. <laughs> really? But the first yeah. group? is FPB, the Filipino Poets and Blossoms. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yeah, that's <laughs> my first I am so proud of that. I cannot imagine if we, if, you know, if I we, I made explosive this to Filipino, I couldn't meet someone like you because there are many uh, foreign poets who are very also very, um, very excellent in writing poetry, very good in writing poetry. And we need to share each other, each other's style, its other opinion, ideas, because we need not to stay just in FPB. I allow everyone to be exposed in different, you know, poetry groups yeah. because it will widen our, our skill, our talent. So, yes, that's yeah. right. Very nice. So can you read uh, one of your poems who have uh, one of your poems that uh, got numerous likes or comments or the famous poem you have? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I have yeah, the very first one I really love so much. And um, the title is My Pen. So, my pen, my power, this little but mighty tower, known by many for little are our works, my greatest instruments, my well, my work constructor. My pen, my voice, the little I conceal may not be given the chance on stage, but with her, my voice is heard by many. My pen, my strength, her beauty is displayed in line, verses and stanza, 
She contained the deepest of thought embedded with wisdom to give hope to many. My, my hope tonight and sleep to this small but a mighty asset is my life transformer. Thank you. That's wonderful. Excellent. Thank so, you. Other than poetry, what other things that you love to do? Oh, I, I love, I love cooking. I'm a cook. So I also love swimming. Apart from that, I do write songs. Whenever I have time, I, if I don't feel like writing poetry, I will write worship songs and other emotional songs. And I love to swim the most. And do you sing also? Yeah, I don't, I don't really sing well, but I, I write songs. Oh, yes. I supposed to ask you if you can sing for us <laughs> with your composed song. Can you do that? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to tell you that you need to prepare a song. <laughs> I'm sorry. I never prepared okay. for that. It's okay. It's okay. Next time. So I, I heard your advice also with your uh, school students or peers. So uh, any message for other budding poets now? Yeah. <clears throat> My, I would like to say in every part of life, we need to associate with others. We need to mingle with the right set of people. And I see love in poetry community because I discovered that so many people are just there to motivate others. And that's one of the things that can make us the younger poet to grow stronger without finding anything to discourage our heart. And I, I would like to say that for the younger poet out there, we need to comment on the prominent and imminent poet writers, because their work has so much deep message for us. And we, if we can learn more from them, we can, we can um, develop our own intellect. And by so doing, we can become best poet writers in the world. And I see that by commenting and also reading others' poems, it also helps a lot. We need more of that spirit in us so that we can be able to, to become independent in our own writing skill. That is it. Very beautiful answer. And you know that, you know what? I am. Um... Not only uh, the youth have to learn from the poets, the senior poets. What I've learned now that I am also learning from you. <laughs> Thank I, you. I love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're learning from each other. So, you know, uh, you also encourage us. So the feeling is mutual. We learn from each other. You are a budding poet or a professional poet or established one, esteemed ones. We are learning each other. Yeah. So great poet can, uh, I, I believe, cannot say that they are really great because in our talents, it's given by God and we don't need to boast ourselves. Let the people uh, appreciate you. Yeah. Not to brag yourself to them. Yeah. So what can you say now that you are guesting at the map? So what can you say about maps, the Mother Eagle Blossom Show? Yeah, <laughs> I would like to say that this is a very innovative and a welcoming development for the young poet to be able to expose 
their talent the more to the world. It helps to brighten our future by coming live to talk with, you know, a great personality just like you, you know, it gives us a more excitement and we feel like we are getting to somewhere very soon and it makes us so comfortable. So I believe this is gonna be a great one for everyone out there because by so doing, I can, I can feel it when I tell some of my friends, if I, when I ask them if they would like to go live, they do say, oh, I would, li I would like to go out live. Why not? Why? I just see that it's a welcome, you know, it's a welcome thing for all the younger poets. We need to be exposed to the world so that we can, we can get the best out of everything. So I believe this is a very nice and innovative um, mindset so far. I really thank God for you for accepting to carry on these responsibilities of helping the younger poet to be exposed to the world. I say may the Lord bless you and continue to guide you and bless you with more wisdom. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> yes, because I believe uh, I don't, uh, I have to, you know, it, I, it was me who invited you. So I believe that uh, young poets, the uh, amateur poets, uh, they, are, they need to be exposed to the world also. So I promise myself that I will be helping you by exposing you to the world and let your voices be heard by other poets because you. you know in this show i don't just accept you as guests but every guest is very you know significant also to my life i won't end our friendship here but the guest coming here will be forever my friends so i put my spirit my love here because not just to show poets but to make friends sincere feeling of friendship that is because it's different if you're just uh, exposing people here and then after that no communication yeah, right. yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, so he, every guest that is coming here will be my friends forever. Yeah, so, I love like, to hear that. <laughs> so I understand that I will be having a lot of friends coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's right. Because it's possible. This, because of this show. Now, lastly, uh, um, what is your wish, your dream for your family? For Nigeria also. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, I, I really want to say that God should keep us alive and help us to understand ourselves the more because it takes understanding for us to act in the proper way. And do it despite anything, I don't see the need to be negative or pessimistic. We just need to be positive, believing that everything will change for a better. And I really love my family and I do pray for them. I pray that um, God keep them all so that at the end of the day, they will enjoy the fruit of their labor. Because it is not just good to labor and labor in vain. You just need to enjoy what you labor for. So I believe that um, and there is no how God can send us into the world without preparing something tangible and something special for us to come and achieve in the world, which will be of beneficial to others, closer to us or fast from us. So I believe that everything happens for a purpose and I pray to God that Wherever path we choose in life, it should be the one that will bring glory to our family, our society, our community, our nations, and the world in general. Because if we say we just want to be selfish, it will help us grow and it will just help 
peace to reign in our world or families. So the only way we can raise and um, help ourselves is by helping um, by by helping ourselves with the right training and with the right education, with the right advice and with the right mentality and also associating with great minds. Just like you know, just have the mind to see that everything you do is just to help people. That is such a nice passion. Because if we cannot help people, then that means our mission on earth is incomplete. We just need to help others and make them feel comfortable because we are all strangers in the world. We need to help others. So that I really love that. Thank you so much. Perfectly said. My God, you're so, you know, shining now. <laughs> and I love your answer. Every, every word, uh, I really appreciate every line you have. So, Thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate you being just in your age. You, you are, you're full of wisdom. You're, Thank you, you have Am. a lot to share, and I know that uh, you will become what you want to be. You will become a great public servant, a great poet in the future, and I know there are a lot more because Thank this so this thing, this show, or even whatever achievement I have right now, I it it just came smoothly. I didn't dream of this. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel that there is a mission that I need to fulfill, to accomplish. So I'm happy with this mission because I met a person like you. So, <laughs> Thank you. I'm also glad to have someone like you around my side. Yeah. <laughs> Consider me as your mother eagle. <laughs> I have a family also. And... Um, we enjoy staying in our shelter in the Filipino Poets and Blossoms. I know you have friends, a lot of Filipino friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, uh, have you prepared a question for me or not? Um, I have a question for you. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> My question is that, uh, how did you come up with this vision of greeting and hosting poet outside? Because, you know, it's very difficult to control people. When we talk about humans, it takes, it takes the, you know, someone with a big heart to be able to control and endure because we have some set of behaviors. For a while, I'm sorry, some... Wilfred. I'm sorry, there's one knocking the door. I have to open. Sorry, sorry. Right. So, can, so, can you repeat your question, please? All right. Uh, I was asking, how did you come up with the vision of hosting poet within and outside the, the country, the world, and trying to make us um, be your girls in Mother Ego Blossom Shoe? How did I? Sorry, I was out of my mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said, how did you come up with the vision okay, of okay. hosting? Yeah, I got it now. Um, as I said, it was it, everything was um, unplanned. So I did not plan this. So it just came. Um, with regards to to this show, um, before, if you remember, I started interviewing uh, the local, the Filipino poets and blossoms only, our administrators and moderators. And um, after them, during our Buwan ng Wika, where we only Filipino are there for a month, so I started to interview in order to expose them only to the Filipino 
Filipino community or Filipino poets and blossoms only. But after them, I said, it's very good to expose people. I was first reluctant also to do so because I, you know, different people. I said, maybe it's hard. It's really difficult for me because, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I said, oh, I want because maybe it's hard for me because, of course, we have different time. Yeah. And that because of the time difference. Uh, other than that, I can I can adjust. As you know, I can really adjust. But then, uh, other than that, I need to understand the accent. I need to catch the accent because we have different intonations. So yeah. harder, it's difficult also. But there's some, uh, I feel that I was really pushed to do so. So I decided bravely that I have to pursue this. At first, actually, it's not, it's really unplanned. Because of this background, I supposed to make a certificate that time. But why that I, instead of certificates, I made a background instead of doing certificates. And this is the result, and I tried. Uh, you know, trial and error until such time that it became for me perfect. But <laughs> I know how to, oh my God, I know how to make background. I need to, I need to have one guess, <laughs> I said. And then I cannot stop because of the motivation given to me also, the good words, the appreciation that I can do it. So I was, you know, fueled. I was really fueled to do more. I was actually inviting a lot. That's why it, 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 I'm getting crazy how to schedule them because I realized just lately that I need also to rest. Maybe I was just so excited. If, if I can just accommodate everyone, I want, there are a lot in my mind because I have yeah. a lot of friends. I, love, I have a lot of friends and I cannot, you know, I want to to do fast. If I if possible, I will make it in the morning. I will make it in the evening, and then <laughs> you know, uh, it's yeah. Last night I was really so tired because you know the preparation of this. We have to talk with the poet. We have to we have to adjust the schedule. So it takes it takes time to to prepare one. Poet yeah. to be interviewed. It's not just to come here, then we'll talk. It's not just <laughs> like that. <laughs> so that's it. And with regards to the Filipino poets and blossoms, um, yeah. But before that, speaking of vision, I envision really that, like you like you you are uh you are just new i envision that uh at least your voice be heard be heard to all because people that i believe need poets also we can't we can stand alone and we can't make ourselves it, it 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 will be a long journey but if there is one who will help you to to bring your voices to the world um it will be you know it will be uh, easy for us to to be known to to link with people because yeah. like for example after this interview i know that there are a lot of appreciation that regarding your your thought regarding your your being you so it will boost your personality as a poet yeah yeah so same as uh, what I did in the Filipino poets and songs, uh, I actually before I was thinking that I was because lack of exposure, I was thinking that I was the only Filipina poet and I had a group, different group that, <laughs> you know, I was, I feel that I maybe were only two, three, Eureka. 
uh, I met her in Dubai where we have the same column poetry section in the newspaper but we met only that uh, after after uh, when we were invited in the anniversary of the Kabayan Weekly. It was third anniversary and we need to be there. I did not know, but we, uh, the management emailed us that we need to wear something like, we call that uh, our national dress, our costume national. So I, we were wondering why we need to do that because we we, they gave us an award so it was a great experience and that was uh 2014 so seven already seven years so wow. yeah she was still single at the time so that's it that's the story so i don't have you know i i didn't have a lot of filipina i didn't know filipina poets until such time uh, the progressive literary and cultural society uh, being by dr shamanas uh, the, because i she is my she's one of the group in our united global sisterhood it was like 2015 and she invited me actually to 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 have uh you know uh, a platform poetry recitation but it's gonna be uh participated worldwide and uh, she asked me to to be a moderator of asian section so i was moderating the asian section where there were you know uh bangladesh indian uh, uh nepal indonesia many many china japan and i wonder that there is no filipina there i was the only filipina but a moderator so i said and they invited me that we have to do anthology and i cannot find filipino poets that's why when i joined the passion of poetry there are a lot of filipina there so i <laughs> i found them there and then i said Na, we, we we became friends and then someone told me that uh we have to ma make a group Filipino poets and blossom. So it for me, since we we are getting uh, you know bigger, I said that these people ha have to be exposed also. So there, are, I'm just grateful that there are people who help me conceptualizing the contest like that. So it became bigger and bigger. So that's it. <laughs> That's why I said everything, uh, you know, was not planned. It it just came. So I know that okay. through this effort, I will be, I will be helping a lot of people. I will be exposing a lot of, you know, poets. Yeah, you are doing that already. I love your faith, and and your passion. It really, it really pay off. You are doing really great. But I want to ask them. I know of your vice president, my Eureka. Um, I, I don't know whether you've met with her before, or is she just in the same country with you? Huh? Sorry? I say, my Eureka, your vice president in Filipino poet in Blossom, is yes. she uh, in the same country with you? Or have you met with her in real life? Yeah, we met in real life, 2014, there okay. in UAE. Yeah, we met in okay. real life. Then just only one day. But then after oh. that, we separated, but we still are friends in, on Facebook. And then as uh, we connect each other until such time, uh, this poetry, uh, you know, vision came to me, and I cho I chose her as you know vice president because she's very dedicated in his work, in her work. I mean, 
Yeah, she's very much passionate. She's passionate very much passionate. I really love. Really working hard. I really love the. <laughs> at times yeah. I do ask with her. She doesn't have much to do for herself. She's she's so as in you know she's so lovely. She's so lovely. Yeah, yeah. During those days in Filipino poet in Bloodsome, I've been seeing her working so hard, so passionate. Most of the time I do ask myself, ah, why is it that she just like working? She just like busy in herself. Every now and then she just be doing one thing or the other. Ah, she was so, I, I, I so much admire the way she just been so delicated in her work. That's such a passion we need. Actually, we need such we... people. She makes certificates. Actually, she mentioned you to me. So I understand uh, you're talking to each other. She mentioned long time ago, long time ago, <clears throat> before the meds, she mentioned you to me. So, yeah, you really contributed well. I thought you're, you're not young. I thought you're, you're like 30s, 40s. So <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never thought that you were that young. I thought you were from other groups and you just you just joined the Philippine Excuse Boots me, ma. Excuse, excuse me, M.A. <clears throat> so while waiting, well, Fred, I'm going to read a poem anyway. He can he can listen this to to or on YouTube. It's not here yet. <laughs> so, Sorry, You're it was raining, and so I had to go and remove my clothes outside. It's oh. okay. So I said that while waiting for you, I have to read a poem in order to to entertain the viewers. I'm going to read this poem. <laughs> Is it okay? All right. I want. Okay. I would love to hear it. Okay. So as I talked to him, you just didn't know that. I smile as if my heart does not cry so much in pain. I stand firm as if I'm not almost breaking into pieces. I stay cool as if my life is smooth and no worries at all. I laugh out loud as if not shouldering heaviness of my world. You might think I look so strong. Yet I am fragile and vulnerable. I look brave, but the truth, I am so much scared. I am full of strength, yet I want to surrender life. I have a deep faith, but I'm afraid I couldn't survive. Yet as I talked to him, I mean him, courage flickered across my shaken faith and strength to continue my long journey the storm is my way. I have to walk on my cloudy path and keep myself moving on till the heaven allows me to touch the small of the horizon. This actually reading my uh, old poems. Wow. Yeah. So That's here. So lovely. <laughs> thank you. Thank I really you. love it. It says it's so emotional. <laughs> Emotional, yeah. emotional. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's uh, I'm not planning what to read, but I, as I just, you know, <laughs> scan whatever I see here, I will read. I'll just read two poems, and this is the second one. Butterfly uh, after the storm. When storm passed one's way, making blue turns gray, give your comforting armor and lend unforgettable favor. Sharing your precious time in life, making the dark turn light, 
gives essence to life's purpose. Don't turn yourself far, but close. You are touching a needing heart, doing such a wonderful part. It's, it is so cool. Life is not in blue, just like butterfly after every storm. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> thanks a lot. I really so love to hear that. That's so nice. Very beautiful. Yeah, uh, just short poems, but uh, I feel that was what is what was inside my heart during the time. So thank you for for having you here. I'm so happy, and thanks for your words that inspire the youth. And I hope and I pray for your success. And um, do you have something to say before we close? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did like to talk on socialization. I was stuck, I was stuck in school that um, socialization, process of learning social um, you know, um, um, social um, and how do I put it? In the process of learning social um, qualities and training that helps build our community without right socialization we, we cannot try to operate well because it from what you are doing you are putting us in the right way by so doing you you enlighten our brain and you make us being so exposed and by so doing it can help us and motivate us in our writing career God, it stands to be that we, the young people, we like to meet brilliant and passionate people like you who can help them. Because we can't just do it on our own. We need people like you to motivate us. So I really want to thank you so much for being uh, accepting to take on this responsibility. And I say, may the Lord strengthen you the more and bless you with wisdom. Thank you so much. Very nice. So, well, Fred, again, I am thanking you and I pray that you will be blessed in your endeavors, your undertakings and your plan, your wishes for your family and your dreams in life will come true. You have Amen. my blessings and uh, consider me always as your mother eagle and you can connect me anytime all so right. bye for now and be blessed all right thank you i'm so happy and excited thank you so much okay bye bye well friend bye